welcome back to my channel. If you saw last week's video, I talked all about picture books that had been turned into movies. To continue with this, I thought it would be fun to do a video all about chapter books that have been turned into movies. And there's a lot of them, so I'm only covering a few, but there are a lot more on this list. And again, if you watched last week's video, you'll know that I haven't seen many of these videos. <laughs> <laughs> I am a reader and I don't like to watch movies. I don't like to watch TV. So this is a little out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to put them out there so that you had a list in case you wanted to check in with that list later on in case you wanted to have a collection of books that were turned into movies. As I mentioned last week, it's a lot of fun to read the books with your students and then to watch the movie and you can compare and contrast especially with upper elementary and the longer books, you can talk with your students about things that were left out. And especially with books that don't have pictures as well, what were they picturing in their mind? And is that what was on the screen or was it completely different? Did they like the video better or did they like the book better? What was different? What was the same? And again, in chapter books, a lot of stuff is often left out or things are changed. So it's a great conversation with students to have. And I think, a lot of times as teachers, we like to show the movie before vacation when things are getting a little crazy. And so this is a great way to do it and still have that instructional piece in there as well. So as I mentioned, I haven't seen all of these videos. I really haven't seen many of them, but it's a list that in case you want to reference later on. But first, if you're new here, my name is Sarah and I like to share on my YouTube channel picture books and read aloud ideas that you can use in the elementary classroom. If that's something that you're interested in, give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below. Now, let's jump into those books that have been turned into movies. The first one, and I did say that I never watched any of these movies, I have read all of these books <laughs> and recommend all of them. The first one is Matilda. This one is a book by Ronald Dahl and Matilda is an exceptionally smart student, but her parents don't like anything that she does. And then she comes into kind of run in with the headmaster at her school and it takes someone exceptionally smart like Matilda to outwit her and to use some of her powers to get back at her. <laughs> This is a fun read aloud in your classroom and there is an interesting movie to go along with it. This next one is a classic. Charlotte's Web is a wonderful read aloud and I know I'd said upper elementary but Charlotte's Web is often read second grade-ish, maybe even earlier, but a wonderful book to read aloud in your classroom. As you notice, I have sticky notes popping out of these. Many of the books that I'm sharing today, I have read aloud discussion questions to go along with them. So what happens is for each chapter, I've come up with three to five questions that you can use to discuss with your students. And they are more of a community building questions, not so much comprehension questions, kind of what would you do? How, what do you think is going to happen kind of thing that really gets students engaged in the book. So I have read aloud discussion questions for most of these books and I will leave those linked in the description box down below. But Charlotte's Web is about a pig that a young girl saves and takes care of. And in order to save the pig from, you know, what happens with pigs on a farm, then a spider and a mouse help out the pig by doing exceptional things on the farm that garner him a lot of attention. Again, another great read aloud for the classroom that has also been turned into a movie. This next book, Holes, is one that was turned into a movie, I don't know what year it was, not too long ago. It's a fairly recent movie. This is a very popular read aloud, especially around fourth, fifth grade. Um, not one of my favorites. Um, I just read it recently for the first time and I will say it wasn't my favorite, but I know a lot of teachers use it in the classroom. I know a lot of students really love this book. And again, it has been turned into a movie. So another great one for your students to compare and contrast the book to the movie. This next one is a great read aloud. Because of Wind Dixie by Kate DiCamillo is a wonderful book that will definitely tug at your heartstrings and your students will love sharing with you and discussing with you. And again, has been turned into a movie. 
that you can show with your students. And like I said, I haven't seen it. So I'm curious what you think of it. If you've seen it, is it similar to the book? Is it different? Let me know in the comments below because I am curious. Like I said, I haven't seen many of these movies. So I am curious how similar they are to the book and whether if you've done it with your students, whether they liked the movie or the book better. This next one I have seen and I will say that I loved it. So the book I have is Ramona Quimby, age eight. Um, we have most of the series at my house, but the actual movie I believe is Beezus and Ramona is the title, but watching it, it takes pieces of each of the books in the series and puts it in the movie. So the movie is not just the Beezus and Ramona book. It takes little pieces from each of the books and puts it into the movie very seamlessly. And it's a great movie. It all comes together really well. It's really enjoyable to watch. Um, all of the actors in it are awesome. I really enjoyed it. I felt that it stayed very true to the books. Even though the books are older, the movie is fairly recent, but it translated really well. So I think this was, if you read, you would probably have to read the whole series um, to really compare and contrast. But if you've read one of these books aloud, your students will get the gist of the movie. And it's a great movie that I really enjoyed. And I think your students would too. This next one is A Wrinkle in Time. And not only do I have a novel study to go along with this in my store, I also have a free comparison from the movie to the book. So there's some questions that you can download for free from my store that compare the book to the movie. So your students can read the book with you, then watch the movie and kind of figure out what they thought was different, what they thought was the same. Again, I haven't seen the movie, but your students will be able to do that with the questions that I have. And you'll have to let me know what you think and what your students think as well. And the last chapter book that I have that was turned into a movie is Wonder. It was turned into a movie five or six years ago, I believe. A great book, I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> um, a great read aloud, powerful message that I think your students will connect with. It will definitely build empathy, um, but again, can compare and contrast the movie to the book and see what they thought of the movie, which one they liked better, if the, they felt like the characters were the same, if what they pictured from the book as you read aloud was different from what they saw on the screen. It's really interesting to see what students think, especially because oftentimes what they're picturing in their minds is very different from each other, never mind from what the movie that was created. So a great way for you to show some movies in class because we know especially before vacations as teachers we want to have that downtime for us and for our students and by using the picture books or picture books that I shared last week or sharing the chapter books that I shared this week and having them watch the movie you're still pulling in that instructional piece but your students will have a lot of fun with it as well. And I mean, who doesn't like a movie? <laughs> you can bust out some popcorn and watch it along with them. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss a video. And if you've seen any of these videos that I shared today, let me know in the comments below what you thought of them. Or if you have a, another book that's been turned into a movie, definitely leave that in the comments below so we can continue to make our list to go along with what we shared today because I know there's a lot more, especially for chapter books, there's a lot more that have been turned into movies that I did not cover in this week's video. But I hope you have a great week.